All right. So I've been meaning to do this for a pretty long time, but now I'm finally going to start actually working on it. Uh, it's going to be an any percent normal tutorial here for Thief Gold on New Dark. So there's a couple questions that you probably already have. Uh, why Thief Gold? It's the more readily available version. You could just buy it on Steam. You know, you could just look it up. Thief. Yeah, 97 cents right now. You should really get on that. Anyway, irrelevant. Um, so, another thing is, what's New Dark? Okay, so let's get into it. Old Dark's the original game engine, and it's really bad. <laughs> it's not It's not terrible. You can definitely get it to record. You could definitely get it to run. But it's you have to really jump through a lot of hoops. Whereas with tfix you can easily just install one uh, patch and it's good to go so in case you don't know who I am I'm psychosis I hold the world record for any percent normal old dark any percent normal new dark old dark the being the original engine new dark being the fan modded engine um, for both thief gold and the dark project so this whole tutorial is gonna mainly focus on this category right here any percent normal new dark See, I'm the only one that holds it. There's a lot more on Old Dark for some reason, but, you know, most people who come in tend to run New Dark. So what you need is, first off, the game. You can get it from uh, GOG.com, or you can get it on from Steam right now. It's 97 cents, or whatever your equivalent is in your country. You know, why not go for it? So when you download it, right, so you're going to... Let me move this over here. I don't want to show y'all anything you don't need to see so when you download it here it is you know you go to steam you go to program files x86 steam steam apps common thief gold so what you do i'm going to stretch this out just to make it easier is you copy everything so you just go rrr, rrr, copy and you make a new file anywhere on your pc you could just make it in windows c that's where i usually end up um okay for the sake of this video i will do it I'll, I'll make a new one and go through the whole process i wasn't gonna do that but screw it new folder we're gonna call it tutorial uh game there you go okay so we just do that and then bang control v right into it it's gonna copy everything and uh just to prove to you that nothing you know got messed up in your original game uh, as soon as it finishes here. I have a lot of folders, so it's probably going to take forever. Let's see here. Okay, so, you know, this is the game. If I had to run it right now, this is this is what Old Dark's going to be, by the way. Um, as you can see, the screen is probably already blacked out for you. And when it finally comes in... It's at a really bad resolution. Uh, you can't even change it. Yeah. I mean, you could get it to record, but again, it, it requires some know-how on your part, and that's just not a lot of people's fortes. So anyway, disregard all that. Now we're on the folder. So what we want to do is come to either Thief... 1.5 on speedrun.com or you could just uh, a link will be in the description of the YouTube video I'm gonna make from this or you can go to you can go to the dark projects too which they don't really matter you can use either uh, tfix um, so for any percent normal we recommend 1.20 um, because there, for some reason the fans decided to edit some of the maps later on and it actually made a couple of them slower so this is like the last good one before it kind of went to to shit um there's no rule uh for what tfix patch you want to do if you want to just do 1.25 which is the latest one i believe you can but i'd recommend 1.5 uh 20 so we're gonna go back to 1.5 so it's gonna be here resources 
click this, it's going to open up like a Google Drive. Trust me, it's my Google Drive. I'm not going to, you know, be messing you up. Click download. Download anyway. And I'll come up down here. See, I already downloaded it, but I'll just download it again to be thorough. I hope my mic's capturing, by the way. I hope I haven't been talking without knowing this whole time. If not, I'll just re-upload re this, but I'll probably end the YouTube video, skip this part. Actually, no, it wasn't that long. I'm doing this live on Twitch. Yes, yeah, so just hit yes. It'll open up this. Okay, so it's like an installer, so you hit next. Uh, uncheck, 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 uncheck. Just uncheck all of them. You, you can keep them, but I don't really like the way it makes the game look, so fuck all that. So you hit next. And then you're going to have to find the game, so you've got to go to this. Where I did it is, you know, Windows C, uh, Tutorial Game, and then that's it, because I didn't make a separate folder within it. Usually I make separate folders, like for this one, you know, I have another one with Thief. This one I have Thief 2 and Thief Gold, you know. That's not what you need to do. So you just go to, where was it, Tutorial Game, and you just hit OK. Or whatever you decide to name it. For this case, it's going to be tutorial game. So it's going to do all this. Um, just hit yes. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now we're good. So we could close all of that out. Now we could go to, you know, wherever you put it. So in this case, tutorial game. And we're going to go to thief. See the the settings are all kind of messed up. So. For me, I like to put the volume down here. Um, I actually have controls already. Yeah, so uh, T fix default, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go into the control setup. So run forward, you want W. Uh, don't bind, walk forward. Uh, backward, you can keep as S. You know, slide left, A, slide right, D. Uh, unbind both of these; they don't matter. I'll tell you, I'll just go to the ones that matter. Lean left Q, lean right E. Toggle crouch. Uh, I like to make it X. You could use C, you could use whatever you want. I like X. Okay, jump. You can bind it to mouse wheel up or mouse wheel down or both. Um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just very, how do we say it? It's very glitchy. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because you're going to end up killing yourself. Really? So just leave it as space. If you really need to, you could bound it to mouse wheel. Um, I'll go into why later on when I actually get into the, the run. But for right now, I'll just leave it space. Um, attack. Yeah, this is all the same. Block, I like to use F. You don't use it in the New Dark run at all, really. So, But just use it, put it as F. You know, screw it. Okay, uh, drop drop item is R. Next item, you know, if you're not gonna use, if you're gonna use mouse wheel up and down <coughs> uh, for jumping, or just one of them, usually I just use up. Then I put tab. So for me, my setup is tab for next item and mouse wheel up for jump. Uh, that's just me. And then I keep wheel down as previous item. If you want, you could just keep this mouse wheel up and keep it as space. It's up to you. I'd recommend space and then just keep these the same. Uh, clear item. I like to use shift. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Shift. Okay. Uh, next item. You don't need to worry about these. Clear item. I like to use the middle mouse button. So mouse three. Let's keep going here. Uh, you can change some of these if you want, like noisemaker arrow, you don't actually use it all. Rope arrow, you use a little bit, so you can change that from eight if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I just I just get used to it at eight, but you could put it at like one and then put sword at eight or something crazy, you know. It's whatever. It's whatever you want. Uh, healing potions, F1, you're gonna need that a lot. Holy water, F3, you're gonna need that once or twice. Uh, you can memorize F4, F5 for the lock picks. Flash bomb is the only one I would recommend changing. I put that to T. You could put it to whatever you want. I put it to T. 
Um, the rest of them doesn't really matter all that much. I'm trying to see what else. Oh, lean forward. You definitely need for a couple places. I I just use Alt. You could use again whatever you want. Control, Shift, Tab. Um, you know, find whatever works for you. Quick save, quick load. You can change these if you don't like F uh, F11 and F12. I like it. So, you know, keep that. Uh, none of this matters. Okay, so I'm gonna save those settings as uh, uh, tutorial lol. You know, whatever, whatever you want to save it as. Done. Uh, for video, you know, 1080p. Uh, I'd put up the gamma if you're gonna record. It makes seeing things a lot better. Uh, fogging, weather, all that doesn't really matter. Again, audio whatever and then controls I like to put I usually have the mouse sensitivity it changes because sometimes I'm not too specific but like around here but like if you like it higher then you know it's whatever it's up to you and I think that should be good so now we can actually get into the game so what we went over so far was installing tfix it's it's simple as hell like you you cannot mess up installing it just copy the 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 original folder, in my case it was Steam, so you copy the Steam folder, put it somewhere else on your computer, and then install tfix into that new folder. That's if you want to keep Old Dark on your computer um, as a possibility to run later on, or if you just want to run Old Dark off the bat. <coughs> so that's what I recommend. Um, the Steam version comes with DD Fix, so it makes running Old Dark a lot easier, but yeah it's you know right now we're just gonna focus on new dark it's the easiest version of the game to run is this the real thief yes it is 